Mario Builder 64 is a Nintendo 64 ROM hack of Super Mario 64, developed by Robotronic and Arthur Tilly. It allows you to build your very own Super Mario 64 stages inside the ROM, but it requires an emulator or original hardware to be played on. Additionally, the Z64 ROM file itself cannot be legally distributed, so the BPS file for the hack needs to be patched with the original game first, in order to create the Mario Builder 64 ROM. In this video, we will go through what emulator you should use, how to set up the Mario Builder 64 ROM to be playable, how to access your own levels, and how to find or play levels made by others. If you want to use Mario Builder 64 on your PC properly, you will have to get an emulator that supports virtual SD card emulation. This is required as Mario Builder 64 needs to be able to store levels somewhere. Parallel Launcher is currently the only emulator usable by Mario Builder 64, thanks to the virtual SD card emulation support, though there may be other options in the future. Unfortunately, links to any sites which have the Super Mario 64 Z64 ROM file cannot be provided, though using the right search terms should easily lead you to the right places. If the ROM you have acquired is compressed, you need to unzip it with a tool such as WinRAR or 7-zip to get the Z64 file. Make sure that any websites you visit are trustworthy. It is also recommended that you scan any files you download with a virus scanner. The Mario Builder 64 BPS file can be found on romhacking.com. Simply download it and store it somewhere for now. Now that you have both the Super Mario 64 ROM and the Mario Builder 64 BPS file, you can patch it up to create the Mario Builder 64 ROM. If you are using Parallel Launcher, you can patch the files by first clicking on the button with the three lines in the top right corner, next to a button with a controller symbol. A drop-down with many options should pop up now. Click on the third option called Manage ROM Sources. Now head over towards BPS Patches. The first is for Patch File, aka the one with the BPS file ending. The other field is for the Super Mario 64 ROM, which should have a Z64 file ending. All that is left for patching the files now is to enter the right files for each field, and then clicking on the big Apply Patch button. The Mario Builder 64 ROM should now be available to play in Parallel Launcher. If it doesn't show up, make sure to define a folder for the ROM sources, where the emulator will search for the ROMs to play. This can be done in the Manage ROM Sources setting. If you're not using Parallel Launcher to patch your hacks, you can also use other tools, such as romhacking.net's patcher or hack64. For the ROM or ROM file field, upload the original Super Mario 64 ROM Z64 file. For the patch or patch file field, upload the Mario Builder 64 patching file you just downloaded earlier. Its file name will end with .pps. If one of the patches requires you to enter a patch type, then select PPS. Once you have patched a file, place it in a folder where your emulator can access it, and you should be able to play it then. Now that you have started playing Mario Builder 64, you might be wondering where all of your levels are going to be stored. If you are using Parallel Launcher, it should automatically create a virtual SD card upon first putting up the ROM. It will likely have a name such as Auto Zero and you will be able to see it above the overclocked CPU checkbox. Click on the button with the two sliders next to the SD card drop-down to open the options for it. On the right side, you should see a button labeled as Browse Files. Once you have clicked on it, a folder with all of your MB64 levels called Mario Builder 64 levels will pop up. Here, you can take levels out to share with others, and you can also put others' levels inside to play them. Please note that Mario Builder 64 level files all have the .mb64 file ending. If you are using another emulator and you have to create your virtual SD card manually, make sure that the format is in FAT16 and the size is 255 megabytes. Otherwise, there will likely be issues. If you aren't much of a builder and would rather just play stages made by others, then you can easily find Mario Builder 64 levels at places such as Level Share Square or the Rovertronic Roundtable Discord server. Feel free to share your own courses at these places as well, if you want others to play them so you can get feedback. And that is how you set up Mario Builder 64 for the first time. We sincerely hope that you enjoy Mario Builder 64 at least as much as we do. This is Blue7, Level Share Square Admin, signing off. Take care and have a wonderful day.